Well, hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG, Field Day 2022. Well, we all got through it. I happen to do the Field Day every year at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library and Museum. And every year we go out there Friday and set up. This year, I asked someone to do some interviews for me on why folks participate in Field Day. They got a few good ones I wanted to share with you. Also, hey, special bonus, you get to see our large tower going up on the trailer. So you might just get a kick out of that too. Anyway, with that, oh, please don't forget to subscribe and remember... If you like my video, click on like. Any questions that you have on any of my videos, make them in the comments in the video, all right? With that, let's check out these interviews. Hi there. Hi. Tell me, why do you participate in Field Day? Field Day is the one time a year that all amateur radio operators go out into the field and operate on emergency power uh, with little or no uh, support and simulate contacting different stations all around the country in order to relay information. We do this so in a disaster, man-made or otherwise, we're able to support communication worldwide. And that's why I do Field Day. Awesome. So tell me, why do you participate in Field Day? I enjoy the hobby and I enjoy working out in the public, letting the public see what the community can pull together uh, in the event of a disaster. Um, one year, uh, a woman came off one of the uh, tour buses to the Reagan Library and uh, walked on over and said, by chance are you radio ham radio operators? And I said, well, yes, ma'am, we are. And she goes, oh, bless you. And I said, oh, you have to unpack that. We don't hear that very often. <laughs> and uh, turns out she lived through Katrina. Uh, she basically said without us, um, she would not have had any communication for three weeks until other stuff came up finally. So that was, that was pretty cool. That was nice to hear. And, you know, it's not like we're expecting anything unusual to ever happen in Southern California. But if it does, it's probably <laughs> going to be a good one. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, well, we don't need the Internet to communicate. Um, it does take quite a bit of effort sometimes to put together all of this stuff, but you don't need it all. We just like doing a good job. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Why do you participate in Field Day? It's giving back to the, uh, the community and making sure that we all have our, uh, our equipment ready and able to set it up in, in moments notice for fires or earthquakes or whatever. They are all portable. Everything is run off of batteries. And that's why I'm here, is just to help out and make sure everything works. Ooh. Why do you participate in Field Day? Because it's my hobby. <laughs> and I enjoy it. It's also a lot of camaraderie. I wouldn't have met Frank, who's in Simi Sutton. <laughs> and uh, the Reagan was a, was a pick I had a decision on. 22 years ago, 21 years ago, when I was with the club, I was one of the founding members, and uh, I did not want to go hide on a mountaintop again, like a lot of people do, or out in the middle of a field where you don't see anybody. I wanted to see people, and I wanted to introduce my hobby to the people, which I've been doing since I was 17, and I'm almost 71. I got introduced to a hobby in high school in Hawaii, and my teacher 
was a chemistry physics teacher. In our high school, we had a radio club. I do a lot of emergency communications, whether it's hurricanes or locally or internationally. I pass traffic to the people who are stranded in the, in Hawaii during the Hurricane Iniki. We had the crew for Jurassic Park stuck on the island of Kauai oh, no. during the hurricane. And I contacted one of the ham operators on battery power with no roof on his house. And he said, can you pass health and welfare traffic to people in the West Coast? I said, okay, give me the phone numbers and where they are. So I got two in Oregon, three in California. And past that, they were all okay. Well, I don't care how many times I see that tower go up, it never disappoints me. That was the 20 meter uh, uh, Yagi that we were using for Field Day 2022. I really hope you enjoyed the interviews. Uh, and hey, if you like my videos, click on like. Don't forget to subscribe. And please, questions or comments, make them in the comments, will you? This is Stu AG6AG73, everybody, and I hope to hear you on the air.